Okay, fifth graders, today I want you to take all of what we've learned this week with our lines and with our shapes and apply them to a project. So get a new drawing. And I want you to call this one self-portrait. And a self-portrait is a drawing of yourself. Now we're just going to draw your head. Um, but I want you to think carefully as you're doing this. I am expecting you to take half of three class periods to work on this. It should reflect that effort, three days. All right, it's due on Friday. So let's talk a little bit about what we're going to draw is just the head. So we're going to go to shapes. And, you know, just click and drag. Now, is there a different way that you can do that? Absolutely. If you choose to draw your head this way, um, let's say you do the curved, okay? Okay. You can do it that way. If that's what you want, you are in charge. You decide how you want it to look, but we do need a head. Make it as, you know, big as you want. And then begin adding details, eyes, nose, hair, mouth, Think about all of the ways that you can draw on here, all the different colors that you can do this, everything at all. This is going to, to make it yours, all right? Once you have done that, I need you to add some other details. So you, you're done with your, your eyes and mouth and nose and all the little details, glasses, whatever you can think of. But to end this project, we would like you to add a banner that goes across the top. Okay, so these are some different banners that you can make. You decide how thick, obviously you don't wanna make it too big, you don't wanna cover your face. But I needed to have your name on there. Remember, you can just start typing and it will come in. Um, please be creative with the font and the color and the outlines and all of that. So your name needs to go here. Show me how you, you know, how you want it to look. Um, with the fonts and the colors and everything, all right? The outline, the thickness. In addition, I want, a, in addition to your name, I want a, a call out that's a think. And I want you to tell me something that you think. And let's maybe even focus on not only what you think, but maybe what you think about the intermediate school. You know, we're just getting started here. So what might be something that you think about the intermediate school? Now a complete sentence with that capital letter, I think, and make that a complete sentence. Notice that I've got it up here by my brain. The next one that I want you to do is a speech bubble. So this one actually needs to have the, the bubble. Remember, you can move these little dots so that they're coming from where you need them to come. This one's going to be more about how we will speak to others in our school. Okay, so think about I will say and, and finish that statement, right? The last one that I would like you to do is an award, okay? So there's a couple of different shapes here that you can do for an award, depending on how you wanna do it. 
if you choose one and you, you, you know, don't like it, you can always change that. Um, so if you were to get an award, what would it be for? Again, remember a complete sentence. I would get an award for, all right? So you're gonna have four different shapes that were going to be added. The last thing I would like you to do, and we didn't talk about this uh, this week, but if you, uh, so if you've got time, you can do it. It doesn't take long. And you can format your background. Okay. Okay. So if I go to format, huh, it's not going to let me do it. Oh, there it is. I right clicked. So I right clicked and I get a background and you can choose any solid color for your background. All right. So click on the background, right click, um, background. You can play with the gradients. So that's going to look a little bit different depending on what you pick. So, so go ahead and explore a little bit with that as well. So a, a self portrait along with your name, something you think, how we will talk to others uh, at the intermediate school and the last one being an award that you would get. You, again, you have until Friday to work on this, and then we will show you how to submit your final product in Google Classroom.